Happy April Fool's Day! Cheers! Mm. It's been a while since I vlogged and I'm vlogging on a Friday. What is up with that? I don't think I've ever done that. Well, maybe like when I was vlogging more regularly, but... <sighs> Last time I vlogged was February 18th. What? Yeah. Um, you know that I've had multiple deadlines and that's done and over with a couple of weeks ago and I thought I would be able to get back into the swing of things like that and that didn't happen. <laughs> um, I should have suspected it because that's what I usually do when I'm on heavy deadlines and I push and I push. This has been going on for quite a while now. Actually one of the projects was decided on uh, last May so it's almost a year. So it was quite draining. Uh, stuff that I'm not used to doing like classes, uh, online classes. The first one I ever did was last September so um, I do now have three classes out there and before I forget one of them, uh, The 21 Secrets, is debuting uh, today on April 1st. So if you've already purchased it, first of all, thank you so much. And uh, you should have received an email with the link to upload the uh, e-document because I have my class on there with two projects and there are 20 other teachers uh, that have amazing classes and I've seen the document and I'm very excited I think I'm gonna do uh, most of the classes as well because they're so interesting so it's pretty good value um, you get 21 classes and in my case I haven't uh, checked the individual classes I've just seen the PDF document but I know that mine I'm doing two full projects two uh, full art journal classes so if you are interested in purchasing the class, the link will be in the description uh, box below if you're watching on YouTube and I'll also, uh, you can check my website, there are links there um, to all my classes. Yeah, but it was difficult for me to, like I said, get back into a regular schedule. Um, first of all, I took a whole weekend off. <gasps> I know, uh, <laughs> shocking to most of you. Um, I never take days off. I'm constantly working and um, the reason why I don't take days off, I figured it out, it's because if I take days off, especially after a big uh, stretch of like pushing myself, um, I get into that funk. I get into that funk where it's so much fun to not do anything and just like read or watch YouTube videos or whatever that um, I have a hard time getting back into it afterwards. So um, I know that I've spoke um, a few times about having my weekends off. I don't know if I'm going to do that <laughs> just for that reason. Um, Anyways, I'll have to work on myself for that. So uh, just to summarize all that, it took me about two weeks to get back to normal. And in fact, even today I had a hard time. But anyways, I'm back to normal. Uh, there's not a lot that went on just because I was so busy with other things that I couldn't show you, <laughs> essentially. But um, I did do... I feel like my camera is crooked, probably. It's not mounted on a, on a tripod. It's on books that are stacked. When it's standing up, that's not very safe. It's okay, I like to live dangerously, apparently. I have these two uh, projects that I've done. Uh, this one is a video, actually, so you can go and check that out. Is it? See, I forget, I'll have to look at... Yeah, it's a video that was published on March 10th. So that was the last project that I actually published on YouTube. I really like her, I sketched her very, very fast. Um, whoops. <laughs> And I like the background. I love doing busy backgrounds and stuff. The second one is this one, uh, which is a repurposed canvas. And I finger painted flowers and I've also added a lot of texture. And this, believe it or not, like all these, um, you can see the texture right here. These are all from dried up gesso that was stuck in a jar. Uh, so I've had a lot of fun doing that. And if you're interested in the video, it's uh, on my Patreon feed. So I did that and then today I filmed another video it's gonna be like a sped up kind of like quickie 
our journal page. I'm going to show you the picture, but um, it's a cityscape of London, a very, very quick sketch of London. Uh, inspired by, you see this London thing here? Well, it's part of a, a piece of tissue paper that Lucy sent me and it inspired the whole piece. And this is actually um, redoing two pages. Yeah, it had like crazy flowers and stuff like that that I was testing out for. Um, actually my 21 secrets class it's not a page that I've used and so I covered it up with text paper anyways and then I took my um, Stabilo pencil and I checked I checked I sketched very quickly and so this video will probably be up tomorrow I don't like to make promises anymore because I very rarely keep them but it's tax season <laughs> so I have to deal with that too and Oh, I did something else. Okay, so I don't sew. I don't like to sew because I, I'm not good at it. I have a hard time with the machine. But I, um, I made a pouch. Yeah, see, it's coming undone. I'll explain in a bit. Hold on, I have to fight with Velcro dots right now. Please hold. Okay, so I have, I don't have business cards. I have business postcards. So these are my business postcards with my art on it. And then in the back, it's an actual postcard with my information. And I wanted to take some with me in my purse, but I didn't want them to get all scuffed up. So I made a pouch. Hold on. I painted on a piece of canvas. And I stenciled this tree with modeling cream by Viva the Gore here. I'm trying to catch the light. This is the reverse. And originally I was going to have this pouch with a zipper on top. So I've left just a little bit, like at each end, so that I could do the zipper. Actually, I was gonna ask Gigi to do it and I asked her and she said, I'm no good at zippers. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, plan B. So I had just enough to have a flap. I managed to sew the edges, which I'm very proud to say that I did that on my own, but um, I didn't have, like I didn't know how to close this thing up, so I added Velcro dots, but every time I open this, I might, I'm probably gonna have to stitch, like to do like an over stitch, I guess. Uh, some of the dots come undone, but that's all I had, so I have these. <laughs> but anyways, it's cute, and it serves its purpose, and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did that. What else? Not much else. I've received um, Heather at the Craft Shack. Um, I've received her Patreon rewards for the month of, I think this was January. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, so I'm going to show them to you because look at that. I don't know if you follow Heather on her Instagram or uh, on thecraftshack.com, but check this out. Isn't that like gorgeous? She did this with the Elegant Writer. And this is a print, by the way. Uh, it's not the uh, the original, but didn't she do an, an amazing job? Like this lady is uh, blowing a kiss. It's just absolutely stunning. Super gorgeous. So that was the print of the month. And then she sent me uh, a postcard. She made a cityscape with gold. Love it. Isn't that cute? I love it. So this is going to go on my bulletin board. I haven't even updated my bulletin board lately because it's been crazy. Oh, um, you probably haven't seen this. Hang on, let me move the camera. I hung up some frames on my wall. Look, my lady is framed. Then I have Heather's piece that I bought from Society6. And then <laughs> I had my tornado canvas framed because it's a reminder of how something super bad can turn into bad to something that you need to keep. <laughs> so I, it was cathartic. I needed to have it up there and um, I did that. Uh, there are other pages that you haven't seen. When did I do this? Mm -mm. I don't know if, you, no, probably not. I did this page. And in that case, if I've already showed you, I'm so sorry, but I did this lollipop page 
uh, and that is using one of my Patreon sketches. It's just uh, painted with uh, white contour, just because I felt like it. And then I added, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Shadows and stuff. And that was a lot of fun to do. Let me see. Let me just do a very quick flip to see if I've done anything earth shattering that I should show you. Not that my stuff is earth. Oh, <laughs> I did an experiment. While I had the sewing machine out, I had a whole bunch of strips of paper and like cardstock and um, text paper. And I decided to sew them all together. So I had like literally strips and then I had a, a, p a copy paper underneath and then I just went crazy with the sewing machine. A lot of mayhem ensued, but um, <laughs> I decided to glue that page down in my art journal and then I didn't know what to do. So I painted over it and then I added a quill, but it's like, <laughs> it's such a weird page. <laughs> but you know what? I kept it in there. Uh, as a reminder that, you know, I still can use the sewing machine. There, <laughs> look at this. Look at the thread on the bottom. It makes me laugh. Yeah, that's when accidents happen on the sewing machine. Yep. <laughs> uh, and that's probably it, my friends. I don't have Happy Meal to share with you. I haven't been to my post office box, actually, in a long time. Um, I was going to show you the projects for 21 Secrets, but I won't because it's got to be a secret. Get it? I'm not good with jokes. And that's pretty much it. I, I want to draw some more. I started taking um, Heather Crafter's drawing classes. I did the first one. Fantastic class. If you're looking for something very very affordable I think it's like six dollars per class it's super affordable she's great at teaching and uh, if you're a patreon a patron on her patreon feed you get them for free um, so I suggest you go check that out I will include the link as well in the description below so I did the first lesson and then I missed the second one and then I ran out of time oh wait though but wait there's more I did sketch things. Hold on, I'll be right back. Hey, hey. Okay, I, I'm, I've been bitten by the drawing bug again. So, um, <laughs> I did, <laughs> I did this guy. <laughs> this was a live shot from one of my Japanese uh, dramas, like slash manga slash drama that, um, I was watching when I took some time off and um, I just did like a very very quick sketch but he was moving on the scene like I didn't pause uh, they had a long sequence where he was walking with this girl he's a basketball player in the movie anyways you're not interested in that but he kept moving but then they stopped and they had a long conversation and I'm like wait wait so I did the rough sketch and then I kind of like shadowed around like you know gave the shadows and he, it doesn't look like him at all but um, I'm quite proud of the proportions very proud of that and then <laughs> and then I watched one of Heather's live stream and um, she always does a live introduction like a face to camera introduction at the beginning but it's usually quite quick um, I just had time to sketch her so this is Heather or my rendition of Heather she's much prettier in you know in real life than that but this is Heather with her headset before a crafted live show <laughs> uh, but that was fun that was fun to do because I love to push myself I love to push myself give myself challenges and this was so much fun because I knew she wasn't going to be on for a long time so um, <laughs> her glasses are a little wonky the eye one is higher than the other but that's okay I'm going to show you stuff that I do also on Patreon because, 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 I don't have the original of this anymore, but this was the, um, the print for February. Uh, this piece, this is a, a print of the original because the original went to, uh, one winner, but I did these tulips in watercolor. I used, um, 
the peerless watercolors you know the watercolors that are on paper not a big fan not a big fan I like to I like to um, use a lot of water and to pick up the the paint with the brush when your brush is soaking wet it's not a good thing so I had to condition myself to just like pick up a little bit with like a semi dry brush and like dip in water anyway it was a it was a process but it was fun I have smaller prints as well <laughs> so this is the small size that went with to the other uh, patrons and then they got um, a smaller one of this this guy here not all of them but depending on the tier that you're in and then um, Lucy uh, has made a nice project with one of my sketches for February if I can get that out here it is here's the original I made um, a Four Seasons mandala and I was trying to imitate like granite like the old you know like cracked granite and stuff yeah I can show you up close so um, if you're one of my patrons I know that you've had this as uh, one of your rewards and then um, you know, people can use them in their own art projects and then one of the uh, sketches that I did also for Patreon for March is this one here. This is, the, I call this my cherry tree lane. This was also inspired by a Japanese show I was watching. And um, it took a while to do <laughs> it. was very, very tedious, but I, I loved it. And so I had it printed on Copic paper. I brought it into um, Staples had it printed on photocopy, like photocopied, so that I can color it in with uh, Copic markers, so this can be fun. And that's it, that's it. That's, I don't think I have anything else to show you. So I will be back next week. Um, sometime, I don't know if it's going to be an art vlog or just a process video, but I'll be back. And then uh, watch out for the London Cityscape uh, video, either tomorrow or Sunday. I can't promise anything anymore because I'm really bad at that. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and click the like button if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you later. Bye.